Oh boy, what a day we had, uh, September 11th, 2024. Uh, let's get right into a market review. And here's the daily candle that we had today. Um, like I was saying, kind of in the market review last uh, yesterday, um, just the fact that we were kind of in a discount here. I didn't want to see if we wanted to go lower into that new week opening gap that I still want to get filled. We ended up having a large expansion day. Pretty much ever since 11, it was just straight straight higher 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 and that's just like what the algorithm will do sometimes just free price higher and this is a good good day to kind of keep emotions in check maybe you maybe you thought that we were gonna displace lower at some point maybe you thought that we're just gonna reverse but no the market's gonna go where it's gonna go and you do not want to get on the wrong side of order flow and as long as you're on the right side of order flow looking at down coast candles looking at fair value gaps looking at wicks looking at whatever it may be as long as you're looking at those supporting factors in arrays, then you should be all right and on, on the side of order flow. But yeah, we had a, a candle with a wick below previous day low, and then we expand large expansion, large range day here. So here's what it looks like on the 15 minute chart. A lot, a lot of volatility today. A lot of volatility today. I don't know how, or we can just say from eight, uh, 500 to 280, so at least 300 points plus delivered on the upside here today. Here is just with a little bit of annotations. Here I have just daily volume balances, which are the, the this is a daily volume balance, daily volume balance, daily volume balance here. And then this is a daily uh, SIBI right here. That was influential, ICG talked about in live stream. Look at the bodies right here as well. And then look at us find support right here, trade higher, previous day highs right there. We have constant culture of a daily wick, Cosmic approach for the daily wick, and we just still just keep on pricing higher and higher. We had CPI today. That happened in the morning. We put in an SMT. We trade higher to a daily volume balance, trading above previous day high, trading to that volume balance. Then we we're breaking down. This also was a new day opening gap. Then we break down all the way to this volume balance. We take previous day low as well. So we take previous day high and previous day low, and then we reprice higher. And then we form an SMT. Smart money is going to accumulate that within a discount below true day open and then we uh just end up trading higher for the rest of the day um we're just gonna get right into asia i go in over asia london uh pre-session and literally the whole entire day in a 15 second chart so i'm going over a lot of this and a, a lot of details here so here we have a sibi at at, at at we have a five minute sibi not at five we have a, with sibi we open up here with a new day opening gap from six to seven what are we doing we're establishing doing a doing range and we're determining whether or not we're in premium or discount. Right now, we're above, uh, we're above new day opening gaps. So what are we worth in a premium? We're also trading the SIBI. Beautiful. Look at this. Notice how I'm including that volume imbalance right there. So we're in that. We're trading that. And look at the bodies. We are mohawking out of it a little bit. And notice what we do. We just get straight pricing lower. I have noticed a little bit. Whenever we get turns during Asia, this is also in other market reviews, and well, I guess we'll see back testing this forward. We don't really get like that first initial like 2022 model that I would normally expect to see in like a, a New York. So it's it's pretty uh, fast in its delivery. And then here we have a SIBI here, or block five minute, and then we have all these other annotations. Here we have a one, two, three drive in this SIBI, uh, shift to market structure. And this is what I'm saying like, we don't trade back up in this and then have a retracement expansion. We kind of just have a reversal. Trade to new day opening gap. Um, daily SIBI high, that's this level right here. Also have some measure of sell side. We trade through that. Then we trade back up to a daily SIBI. Where are we mohawking to? Look at, the, look at this. This is a volume imbalance right there. I believe it's a volume imbalance um, right there. ICT hasn't, hasn't specified on this PD array. It might, you might have some name for it, but it's, it's a volume imbalance. We close... Uh, different than where we open and that's going to be influential and look at the body right there we trade lower new day op we're closing below new day opening gap we're trading back up into that constant culture right there and boom order block right here on the five minutes there's that five minute order block level it doesn't really get traded to we have constant culture of a five minute wick we have order block on the five minute wick uh, order block on the five minute and look at that right there and then boom immediate repricing lower we're trading constant approach from that uh, that SIBI that could be a partial here in Asia. And we're trading all the way back up. You know, this candle right here. And the high end of that SIBI right there. And then we're trading lower. And then this also is... I believe, there There is an old new week opening gap. I, you can't really see it on this chart. But I think I had it toggled off on this chart. But there is a new week opening gap that we do trade into right there. 
And then here is another, the one minute chart extended. Here, here's that same same PD array right there. Volume balance trading to that, trading to another volume balance here, trading lower. No, no, no trading in the fair value gap here. No trading in the SIBI here. Trading lower, volume balance right there. Look at the bodies for respecting that. Boom. We have a sell side imbalance, and then we're trading into a new day opening gap as well as that volume balance. So this is a nice price run into that volume balance and into that new day opening gap. Here's a five-minute chart, and here is London's price action. We end up reversing order block. We, we respect that down close candle. Then we have a change of state delivery on the five-minute right here. The breaker traded to perfectly. We have a SIBI right there. Inversion level is traded to here as well as constant encroachment of this wick right here. Perfectly traded to, and then we trade back higher. Again, it is TPI, it is before CPI. We're likely generating some form of liquidity. This isn't probably the the best tradable conditions, but we are trading back up into a newbie company gap. That's this green box that was over here. And if you, you can see that right there, that green shaded portion that we traded into right there. And then here we have the one minute chart at that time. And then this is a nice 2022 model. Sell side taken, we're in a discount. We get a shift in market structure here. We get displacement, we're pulling back, retracing, and then expand, expansion. Notice this, this gets left as a breakaway. We don't trade into that. We have that change state delivery on the five minute or respecting here. We have that five minute SIBI. It's now used as inversion. And we have this five minute SIBI used as inversion. And we have that five minute SIBI again used as inversion. Notice what time this is happening. The first London macro that we trade into. That's what we're doing. We expand, we trade into a SIBI or a BISI and then into that five minute fair value gap, we trade higher into this, trade higher, institutional or full interest rate. we're leaving this as a breakaway and we're trading higher. And here we have the 250 macro. After you trade higher, notice how we have a, a breakaway gap. This is gonna be a, a likely draw on liquidity on the right side of the curve. And it's like we have here a 250 macro, we don't really get much. 350 macro, we don't really get much. There's not really much here. We're kind of consolidating because we just expanded. Notice what we did here. We expanded just before these London macros. So what are these London macros likely to do? They're likely not going to do much. So that's why we're consolidating here. Then we form an SMT and SMT gets put in. And then here we have rejection block. Rejection block gets traded into. And again, like London, Asia price action. Uh, I'm just going to note this. But and look at this going forward. If we just have a straight expansion lower. There's not really any uh, retracement into a fair value gap. Then we trade lower, SIBI right there, along with this old daily low as well. Boom, that gets traded to it. And then we have that BISI, drag that across, trade into here. Sell stops, we accumulate, then we trade higher. Volume balance doesn't get traded into, but we have these three down close candles. That's your order block, that's the change state delivery. This gap right here, we trade higher. And then uh, this price action. And then this is the uh, New York session. New York session, this is from 9.30 to 11. And then we have the lunch reversal and lunch huge range. So that's what you have here. We have CPI. CPI puts in a high and then we put in a low. Um, news, news, high, news high and news lows are going to be good draws on liquidity. That's what you have here. We draw to that high there. And we trade into that new day opening gap perfectly. We put in a balanced price range here. Fair value gap in, fair value gap out. Notice how we also have this fair value gap here as well. Fair value gap in, fair value gap out. We're trading to that old daily low. Uh, institutional interest is there and then we're trading in and then out this is a balanced price range we don't really need to trade back into that we have order block on the five minute order block on the five minute boom trading lower expanding lower volume balance new day opening gap new week opening gap new day opening gap here with that volume balance we have an smt so everybody's accumulating that we're trading higher we expand higher notice how we don't really have just like i believe i said this in a is in a case study or a market review but we have a nice we have a nice uh, imbalance here at 50%. That's your measuring gap. We trade, we extend that over. Notice how we're displacing above that. We now have a balanced price range. This now gets respected. It's sensitive. What is sensitive? Look at that. New day opening gap perfectly with the volume bounce perfectly. We're below true day open. We're now within a discount. And notice how power three is playing out. You have open, high, or open, high, low, close for the 11 a.m. For the daily range, you have open and Initially, we trade higher, then you have a low, then we have a high, then we have a close. So this is bullish for the day, bearish for the New York session. So we trade lower into that, then we expand higher, 
The constant curve to that wick is getting respected over here. Balance pressure and forms with these wicks. That's a that's a PDRA right there. What are we respecting these wicks or mohawking outside of this busy to these wicks? They were trade higher expansion right here. Boom, expansion, breakaway, order block. This down close candle is being respected. They were trading where previous day high is getting respected right here. They were trading higher. We have constant encroachment of a wick. That's an upside objective. And here, this night, this high right here. Uh, I was saying this in the live stream. I kind of want to see this get traded to. Um, I, I want to get, see it get traded to here in the AM session, but we're deferring a run to generate liquidity to then expand, to then complete a daily power of three. So here we trade into that that buy side liquidity right there. So here is here is um, after that CPI. So CPI we have a big dealing range that is established. And here, uh, CPI wasn't that crazy. Um, I don't. I think it, I believe it's around like a hundred points. So that isn't that crazy. It's all. It's not like we can't really trade after it. If it's, I've seen CPIs where it's like four hundred points. And if that gets delivered, like we we don't want to trade that at all. But here, th this could be this could be somewhat tradable. Notice what we're doing here. We create a low. Where where does this low get? Uh, oh, I, actually, I forgot to bring this up, but. Here we have a change of state delivery on that five minute chart during London, right here. That is that same change of state delivery right here. We're trading to that right here at the news low. We put in an SMT. ES has taken sell stops. ES is accumulating sell side liquidity. Then we initially trade higher and then we trade up into what 50% of this doing range equilibrium around that. Then we trade back lower. We now have smooth edges. We trade to minor sell side. Notice how we take minor sell side, then we get a shift in market structure and balance right there. 2022 model right there. Beautiful. We also have this busy as well. And notice this as well is a 25% of a five minute wick. So we have a five minute wick here, the news wick. We're expecting 25% of that right here. That is telling us that we are actually bullish. We are very bullish here. So we're trading higher. Boom. Traded into. What do we have here? More opportunity. We have a breaker. 15 second. What is this volume balance right there? Perfect. Then we're trading higher. We have this volume imbalance that I, that I wanted to be the draw on liquidity. As you see, that's good draw on liquidity, but we really want to trade higher to that news high and higher into that new day opening gap that's higher up. Notice how price trades through new day opening gap. We are not respecting new day opening gap here. We displace through it, busy on the 15 second that gets traded to. That could be like a little high, high frequency trade, trade idea. Uh, as ICT was talking about here, we have sell stops accumulated and then we're trading higher. Um, here is the five minute chart. And I'm just showing that inversion level right here and also us perfectly trained a new day opening gap. That is beautiful. I like to see sustained intermediate term highs or long term highs, whatever you want to call them, at new day opening gaps. And that's exactly what we get here. Notice that we also have what is this? Devil's mark. Yes. We have a devil's mark here, a, a candle with no wick at all. That could be a possible good draw on liquidity. Um, the only reason why. Not counting that as a good draw on liquidity because we kind of have this immediate term high. If we had both these with no with no body with no wick, then that would be more influential. But here we have this inversion fair value gap that gets traded into here. Boom, displacement lower balance price range. We're not even trading back above that. Notice how this new day opening gap. I believe this might be the current new day opening gap. Mine are usually yellow, but I feel like I wasn't in replay mode uh, when I took this. But I feel like this might be new day opening gap. I don't think it is. It might be lower. And look at the wicks. Look at the wicks, seventy-five percent of that's getting uh, getting uh, respected right there, and then we're trading lower. Here is regular trading hours on the one-minute chart. Here we have open daily range gap high, and then we're trading into that, and then we're displacing throughout the rest of the day. Notice how it here we have first presentation getting respected. Very simple. I like I'm I'm going deep dive because I want to know exactly every single turning point within the market, why it happened, why it was there. Very simple. And I, and I feel like I would agree. Um, you don't need you don't need a complex understanding of the market, but that's that's what I'm striving for, and that's what I'm 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 looking for. I want I want um, full understanding of the market. I don't want a little uh, titty tatty. You know, I'm, I'm gonna take a little trade. and I'm just gonna pray. I, I want to know. I want to have conviction. I want to see these signatures repeat. So here we have this first presentation. We're trading that. We're trading back into it again. You'll see a fair value gap in, and a little fair value gap out. Boom. We're respecting that. We're trading lower, sell side imbalance right here, order block. Beautiful, simple. Trading lower, trading lower, and then we're displacing lower, and then we're trading to the low. So we have open, 
high, low, close for that 11 a.m. Here is uh, the one minute chart. I'm just showing that again with a bunch of annotations. As you see, this kind of is overwhelming. There, there's a lot of them here. But all these annotations are important because what the algorithm is going to refer to. And here we're showing that new day opening gap. This is the 15 second chart. We have constant encroachment of, of that one minute wick. That's getting respected right here. Look at that. We have a little mohawk with the body outside of that. Then what do we get? Market structure shift right here. Boom. Trading lower. What is this? Sibby. Sibby is getting respected right there. And this is why um, I, I like tape reading. And I think I, like, I want to tape read live. But I also want to be in ICT's live streams. And he, he, he messed me up. Like I, I was... You're not mess it's not his fault at all. I, I'm not saying that, but he said he had a little comment on the fact that we had smooth edges here, and that uh, this this might get traded to, and that like I was watching this live, and then that threw off my mindset. So then I wanted to see these highs get traded to when there really was no reason for them to get traded to. He was just commentating on the fact that we have smooth edges here, and notice how we're trading that sibby right here, beautiful delivery to that high end of that sibby. We're trading lower. Look, volume and balance. Volume balance is getting respected. That's telling us that we are in a sell model. And here we have, what is this? Immediate rebalance on the 15 second. I noticed this like kind of just today, to be honest, but th this is probably one of like ICT's 81 P PD arrays, but it's immediate rebalance, but it's an opposing candle. So that, that's an order block. So, so immediate rebalance on the 15 second chart to an order block. Boom, right there, trade lower. And here we have that inversion on the, on the five minutes. And then here we have a stop run. There's not going to be a significant uh, run in price, especially during the opening opening range or AM session without a stop run. And that's what we get there. We get a stop run. Um, that's denoting this. The 15 second, we're trading to one minute SIBI, that five minute inversion level as well. Look at this. We're trading back within that. We have a swing high now. We're trading lower, displacement lower. We're violating this low. We're coming back down. Daily busy traded to right here. Now what are we doing? Sell side taken, sell side taken. Retracement, 15 seconds SIBI. This is also is the first presentation and it also is opening range constant encroachment. It also is almost a previous day high that we almost trade into just off that by a tick or two. We're, and then all of this is happening here and then we also have what is this constant encroachment of that wick beautiful beautiful delivery so what do you have here four or five different pd arrays all aligning for this one trade and then we immediately trade lower and then what do we have here a retracement uh oh we have a retracement back to first presentation look at the look at the bodies look at the wicks we're trading in that right here then what do we get displacement lower sibby Inversion. What is this? Balanced price range. Fair value gap in. Fair value gap out. We don't really need to trade higher. We don't really need to trade higher at all. We don't. So even this could be an entry. Oh, I missed this entry. Oh, there's an entry right here. Look at the bodies. Respecting cost of encroachment of that. And when we trade lower, we have another Sibby right there that we trade into. Sibby gets traded into. Buy stops uh, accumulated there by smart money. We're trading lower. ICT was talking about this right here, or no, I believe it's this, but this and this are kind of like the same thing. To be honest, we have constant recovery of this one minute wick, buy stops accumulate. That could be a model. We're we're trading above that. We're mohawking above that wick to accumulate buy stops here. Accumulating buy stops here. Notice how minor sell size taken here. It's also this constant recovery of that busy. And what do we do? We trade higher. Buy stops taken here. We don't need to take this high. We're not taking this high. We're taking this high. Then what is this? Volume balance. We're delivering that. That's patchwork. The, the algorithm will reprice the volume imbalances especially to offer an efficient market. And we're trading lower. Last two up close candles. What is that order block? Boom. Right there. Constant encroachment of that wick. Notice how we're not taking the news low. We're just trading the constant encroachment of that one minute wick. This, I believe, this level right here, that is true day opening price right there. Look at the bodies. They're respecting that. We're respecting cost of a wick. We're in for an immediate, uh, intermediate term retracement. We're trading back up to where? Mean threshold of this candle right here. Boom. Traded into. Buy stops taken as well. Look at this. Oh, we're going back higher. We're going back higher. Nope. Inversion for value gap. We trade below that right here. We have an order block. 
order block what is it what do we just need we just need to trade below that opening price right there that is now an order block we're trading within that and then boom look at this also as well a nine five low as well we trade into that inversion level as well right there oh and i'm denoting this is the 950 macro this is in the five second chart this looks like a whole whole like th this is a whole lot of trading a whole lot of prices action here and as we see here we're trading into this um i don't think there's really anything that's important here it bounced price range right here we're not trading this so it's a breakaway boom this place went lower busy trading lower down close candle higher and then see how that mean threshold level was actually a uh sibby right there this is why these five second time like if you really want to know the nitty gritty five second chart even a one second chart you get to know the details you get to know why prices go in certain levels because we're reaching for a raise beautiful inversion fair value gap fair value gap right there we're trading to that boom trading lower fair value gap in fair value gap out after taking buy side what is this balance price range we don't need to trade back up to it institutional financial drill this is left as breakaway we trade lower beautiful 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 all right and this is him when he was talking about the cosmic curve of that wick if we ever have bodies accumulated around that that's a sure sign that we are we are actually going to head lower so if ever accumulated bodies around cost encroachment of a level that is telling us that we're, we're not going to be respecting that level so we have cost of this wick we're trading back to that again we also have what true day opening price and we're also in that cell model here what is this this order block on the one minute boom we traded in that what is this two up close candles here on the 15 second i would trade into right here what is this as well cost of crochet of a one minute wick so we're trading that we're trading the high end of that uh sibby and look at the bodies here respecting uh concert crochet of that sibby what is this as well 0.25 percent of a one minute wick this right here is a creates a one minute wick we're expecting 25 percent of that look at the bodies perfectly we're expecting 25 percent of a wick not even cause encroachment but 25 percent boom immediate displacement lower. i didn't mean to do that but immediately displacement lower is a little bit after that we're trading that volume balance what do we have cause encroachment of a one minute wick look 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 expansion higher where are we trading to balance price range on the one minute with the wicks you shall not pass it's acting as a uh acting as a balanced price range not permitting price to trade above that so what do we get here market structure shift here last up close candle 25 percent of a one minute wick perfectly traded to a volume imbalance we don't trade into that we don't even trade into that what do we get market structure hit here shift here there might be a five second even one second imbalance right here that you could get in on what is this that's that same pd array immediate rebalance order block on the 15 second chart we're trading lower sell side attacked we're displacing through that daily volume balance notice that is telling we're displacing through a daily volume imbalance we're not respecting that what are we doing consolidating we're putting a lot where where does this high get generated right above right below or yeah right below that daily volume balance we trade sell side we attack that buy side we attack it jagged edge gets formed but uh this this sibi is getting respected constant encroachment is getting respected then what are we waiting for okay we, we may have a trade here we still have previous day low to trade to okay like this is what i'm saying like i feel like i miss opportunities sometimes and i get down i don't get down on myself i'm like i do get down on myself i'm like man bro we kind of just missed that opportunity well there is so much opportunity like so much opportunity already and we're, this is only until like there's so much more opportunity within this day what do we have here sibi that we're trading into constant recruitment let's get respected this should, or i i believe i'm trying to include this volume balance Causes encroachment we're respecting. What is this? 2022 model after taking buy side, shift to market structure and balance. If that wasn't good enough, we have another SIBI that we're trading lower. If that wasn't good enough, we have accumulation, manipulation, distribution into that SIBI. Look at the high end of that. I believe this is a five, no, this is a five, this is a five second chart. We're trading lower, previous day low, perfectly delivered. So our previous day low is delivered, then what are we looking for as well? Volume balance. What are we form? SMT at a key level. Volume balance after sell side is taken. What time is this occurring? 1050 macro. We have displaced lower. We're keying up. We're about to be into the lunch macro. So this could be a possible candidate for a 1050 macro reversal. What are we waiting for? We're waiting for the facts to speak for himself. What do we get here? 
sell side taken, market structure shift imbalance. This is a 2022 model. This is pretty, excuse me, this is pretty early. I, I don't know. I don't really love an entry here, but what do we have here? Three down coast candle. Volume balance here. I believe that volume balance is only one minute. 15 second BSE. We're trading that as well. Trading higher. Boom. Order block on the one minute and a BSE here. Trading higher. A same thing. Notice how we refer to this one. We just mohawk, mohawk out of this volume balance just a little bit. This is all balanced. We have a gap here and a gap here. We have a high here, so fair value is right here. This balance price range here allows us to trade into this gap and notice how we're expecting that. So that's pretty bullish. That's a bullish signature right there. Then we trade higher, then we trade back lower into order block on the one minute. Uh, sell stops taken, order block one minute. 25% of a one minute wick is getting respected right here. We're trading higher, we have a busy right here that we're trading into. What is this last up close candle? That's a breaker right here. That we're trading back down into that here. Um, I believe this is a volume. We'll shadow the one minute chart. This is all 15 seconds. This might be a volume imbalance, I believe, or I believe it's just an order block on the five minute and the order block on the one minute. I'm not 100% certain, but we're trading to those levels and we're trading higher. This is a new day opening gap. Boom, that could just be a bread and butter setup right there. Uh, right here, what is this? Last three down close candles with an, uh, with a busy. Trading to that, and then we're trading higher. And here we have buy side liquidity gets taken uh, during the lunch macro, during lunch hour. Then we have 11.50 to 12.10. That is a macro right there. We're trading buy side liquidity. Then we have an up close candle. That's an order block. Then boom, we're displacing lower. Look at that. Look at that. Perfect. 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 New day opening gap gets traded to. This also is a five minute uh, fair value gap right here that we're traded into. Then we trade higher. What is this fair value gaps in, fair value gaps out? Balance price range, we don't even trade into that. We're not even looking for that. Notice how once we trade above this line right here it is cost of encroachment of that daily busy. Once we trade above that, with this is like, oh, we're not we're not interested in trading below this. We've already efficiently delivered prices. We don't need to trade lower. So therefore looking for a retracement isn't reasonable. We're trading this in a busy in a one minute, also a 15 second here. And boom, we're getting off that, trading higher, breakaway, breakaway. We don't even trade in these down close candles. Immediate rebalance here. This is left as a breakaway. We also have a breaker here that could have been traded into, but we don't. And here we have a busy on the one minute. There really isn't too much here. Uh, we don't take sell stops here. We have a inversion gap here, trading higher, buy side, buy side. So now we have taken what? Three, 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 three sets of buy side, even that four sets of buy side. We're in a premium for sure. What could we reasonably expect? Some sort of possible immediate term reversal. Although the day that we're trading in is a very bullish day. This is like the only retracement that we get all day. So therefore we have to realize, look at the higher time frames. Look at the 15 minute. Look at those time frames. Although I'm on a one 15 second chart, I'm just showing the opportunity that we have within these days. But the 15 second order flow, that is never going to lie to you. That's never going to tell you. That's never going to do you dirty. If you just follow that 15 minute order flow, and I'm mainly talking to myself, that order flow will keep you in check. Here we have an order block on the 15 second, on the one minute we don't trade into, buy side taken. There really isn't no model here. We have a 15 second imbalance that we trade into, then we're trading back into previous day high. We also have a little volume balance that we're trading into. There really isn't anything special. This could have been, oh, uh, maybe I'm looking for a reversal. Here we're in a daily volume balance. Oh, this, this is a very nice trade right here. That, that might be what, what I'm thinking. Oh, yeah, this is a nice SIBI right here. But we got to look at the 15-minute time. I do want to just pull up a 15-minute time frame just for uh, brevity's sake, if that's if that's uh, politically correct of a term. If we look at the 15-minute time frame, uh, I'm just going to remove all this uh all these annotations. Let's look at the 15 minute workflow. Is there ever a certain time to when we trade? No, there isn't. Look at this. This is a balanced price range. You shall not pass. That's what this is acting like with those wicks. You shall not pass. You not, shall not trade any lower. We don't want to trade any lower. We don't even want to trade in this busy. So what is that telling us? We're immediate. We're very bullish. We don't want higher prices. We're in a buy program. We're going to keep on pricing higher. And that's what we keep on doing. We press higher, press higher, press higher, press higher, press higher. What is this? Imbalance right here. What do we do? We trade back into that. Oh, this is a reversal. No, we're, we're just tr retracing into this. Constant crochet of that is getting respected. Boom, pressing higher, pressing higher, pressing higher. What is this? Balance price range again with the wicks. What are we doing? We're respecting that. We're trading higher. And then that's the end of the day. And then we're trading there. So there, we're just trading higher and higher and higher and higher. 
Simple as that. Higher prices, 15 minute workflow, does not reverse one bit. It doesn't tell us, it doesn't show us a card, it doesn't display, so we don't even get a 15 minute SIBI at all for this whole entire day. These down closed candles are just order blocks, they're just areas of accumulation. That's all this is. This is just a large range day, this is a large expansion. So what do we have here? We come back down, we accumulate sell stops, then we trade higher, boom. 25% of that one minute wick is getting respected right here. As a bullish signature, then what do we do? We trade higher, order block on the one minute, and then a one minute BISI, and then we trade higher again. BISI, right here, constant structure of a one minute wick. That's this one minute wick here. This is a 15 second chart, but that would be that one minute wick. Boom, we're, we're perfectly respecting that. Then we trade higher, BISI right here. Sell stops take, taken right there. They were trading into this, buy side. Bissy on the one minute, down close candle right there, trade higher. And this is what I want to bring up. We have a daily volume imbalance. There, there are daily volume balances that I dragged that weren't really close to where price was doing, but I want to see what they were doing intraday. This is a daily volume balance, constant encroachment. And then notice, speaking of daily volume balance, we have that right there. And here is that daily volume balance constant of an, of another one. So there, there's multi, there, if you can look at the chart and if you go to daily daily chart and you press, press settlement, there are so many daily volume balances here. And this is a, a daily volume balance right here. It's trading that constant of a nine five wick they were trading to. Boom, displacement. Market structure shift, it balance. High frequency, high frequency trading algorithm. Boom, we're trading lower. This would actually be a time when uh, I'm not gonna lie, like looking at this live, this is why the 15 minute order flow and down close candles are so key. Are so key. I would be looking at this, I'm like, oh, we have fair value gap in, fair value gap out. This likely could be a balanced price range. That's not the case. Trading back up into this. I believe it's a one minute fair value gap. I don't have the array marked here. That's my apologies. But this is an array. That's all. You, 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 can, you can look into your own charts, but I would trust my word. We have 2 p.m. What is that? The start of silver bullet hour. What is this? Buy side, or sorry, uh, that's a busy right there. I was trading into here, down close candles, boom, supporting price. Notice the like, we just delivered large ranges. What are we doing here? We're delivering small ranges, small ranges, small ranges. Not really anything. Or trading back down into this. This is a one minute order block. I'm fairly certain it should be a one minute order block. We're trading to right here. We're accumulating there, we're not reversing. And then here is um, the end of the day market on close. I, I like to whenever I look at market on close two fifty. That's when the first um, that's when the first uh, macro, not algorithm. That for, sorry, I don't know why I forgot the name. That's when the first macro starts. ICT took a trade and he took a long here. Then he trade higher. Look at this. That's that new day opening gap. Remember that new day opening gap that was very big. That's what we're trading into here. This is the one minute chart. We're trading lower. Order block right there with the BISI right there that we're trading into. We have smooth edges right here. What is this? We're trading to a five minute BISI. We're trading lower. Notice what we're doing here. We are so, per we're, we're just bullish. We're pressing higher, pressing higher, pressing higher, pressing higher, pressing higher. That's what we're doing. We're not designed to go lower. We're designed to go higher. So we take sell stops right here. And what do we get? Immediate displacement. We have a breakaway, breakaway. I could have just set a breakaway on two minute, but here we have a breakaway on the one minute. We're trading higher. We have a BISI right here. That's just trading to right here. As well with what? what was that? Breaker on the one minute. Breaker gets traded into right there. Then we trade higher. We have a down close candle that engages into a, a fair value gap. That is a high quality order. Or not high. It's, it's, a, it's a decent order block. There's also a beef, big BP body that we're trading into right there. Boom. Constant structure of a five minute chart as well that we're trading into as well in that 315 macro. We're kind of just. We have sell stops here. Notice what what would be the common consensus here. What what do you think? Even myself included. Like I'm not saying that I took any of the slides. This is all just like my 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 study. This is this is good. But what what would retail be reasonably thinking right now? Or what would even going through my my mind right now? Oh, we have delivered. We're so overbought. We're 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 trading higher and higher and higher. We're pressing higher and higher and higher and higher. We, we we might want to reverse here. Retail retail is probably trying to short this, probably trying to short this. And even if retail isn't, there might be some psychological issues with, or not issues, but psychological um, feelings with traders not trying to short this, myself included. Or not trying to long this, myself included. But here, what do we have? 
we're we're trading into these down close candles here, counter to that wick, uh, that order block, and then we're trading to that new day opening gap. Perfectly gets delivered. We have an old daily low that gets traded to, and we fall short just of that um, daily or volume bounce on on the daily chart. If you actually look at this daily volume bounce, if you toggle from daily to settlement or settlement to non settlement in the same area, have this volume bounce. It actually, is a, there's a bigger one. I chose to choose a smaller one. So technically, we did trade into a daily volume bounce to cap the daily range, but I chose to elect the smaller one. I I just chose the settlement price one. But here, enough of that. Here's the 15 second chart. Here we have 315. Big down close candles. Boom. Oh, enticing. Oh, breakout, breakout. Uh, that's what that, these are. They're trading that busy on the one minute. Look at the look at delivery on the low end. Look at these three down or four down close candles. We're trading to that busy. They're trading to these smooth edges form here. Look at that delivery. Look at that delivery on five minute comes from encroachment. That's 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 nice to see in my opinion. That's very nice to see. Here we have 350, 350 and then three forty five. What certain what times it what time what time what time what time what time? I don't know what I'm trying to say. I've been going I've been kind of going I've been going straight for like thirty five minutes here. Three forty five. What is that? Settlement macro. What is this? Three fifty. Wait. No, so three forty five. That's market on closed macro. What is three fifty? Settlement macro. That's when uh, liquidity is injected in the market. What do you have here? Last up close candle. Breaker. What is this? That's a breaker. Boom. Displacement to that new day opening gap counselor encroachment and to cap off the daily range. So I this is like this is I don't even know why I threw this in the slideshow. I'm just kinda showing a five minute chart with all the annotations or pressing higher or pressing higher or pressing higher or pressing higher or pressing higher. There there's no displacement lower at all. And we're just going to be reaching for premium levels, reaching for premium levels, reaching for premium levels, reaching for premium levels. We're not we're not displacing lower. That's not what we're doing today. And yeah, that, that was the day that we had. That's the profile we had today. Large range day. That is hopefully all all there is. I believe I pretty much went over every single fluctuation in price. But yeah, that's my market review. Hopefully you all have a good rest of your day. I will be back at it um, um, tomorrow. Tomorrow, my market review might be the day after because I have, I have a personal life that I'm uh, attending tomorrow. I'm showing up for my own personal life tomorrow, but I might try to do one a little bit sooner. I might do a little like uh, kind of on the fly, like not pre not slideshow, but every single day I'll have a market review for sure. These help me these help me keep in check and also are good case studies to go back on and lean back on and look back on old data and compare old data and see where maybe mistakes are going wrong, maybe where adversities are 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 in my trading. But anyways, hope you all have a good rest of your day and I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out.